Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next video of this Kotlin Fundamentals. In this video, we will talk about what are interfaces in case of Kotlin. So let us first check out the practical example and then the theory. So here inside the IntelliJ IDE, this is the example that we took in the previous video, right, about the abstraction in case of Kotlin. Now, suppose if I change this abstract open class to let's say interface. And now the interface is not a class. Always remember this. It is something like a listener that you want some service such as on click of button something should happen, on touch of a keyboard something should happen. So in that case the listener is actually the interface, right? You want some short term or temporary service. So in that case we create an interface. As for example in Android suppose someone click on a button. So on click of a button something should happen, right? So we implement the on click method in case of Android. So that is the main purpose of interface in case of Kotlin as well. So here let us change the name of interface let's say my interface listener, right? And now here whatever you define inside an interface is actually by default abstract in nature such as where let's say name string well it should not be name here because we are using the interface but it's a variable name so let it be name by default right now by default whatever you declare inside the interface is actually abstract and also open in nature because abstract variables and methods are by default open in nature that we saw in the previous video right and this abstract is redundant so we need to remove it as well and also abstract keywords and also abstract methods and also the variables should not contain some default value like here let's say dummy name like this so the abstract variables should not contain some initialized value it should be a empty declaration like this so let us remove it as well because it is redundant so here I have simply written a comment statement properties in case of interface are abstract by default right and now suppose let us define a function let's say eat or let's say on click and here suppose if I define a body now if you define a body then this method is actually a normal function which is actually public in nature but in this case it is not final in nature because in case of interface nothing is final everything is open in nature. So this on click method is basically is by default open in nature. It is not final. So always remember in case of interface nothing is final. Everything is open in nature. So let me write a comment line for you. So the normal methods are public and open by default not final always remember. And now here this public and open keyword are redundant again. So let us remove it. And now let us define one more method let's say function of on touch. On touch of an image something should happen. Now here if I define here the body and declare here abstract then the compiler is again not happy because the abstract methods cannot contain the body right. So here either I have to remove this or I have to remove this from here. But, but I want this method to be abstract in nature right. So here what I will do is I will simply remove the body. Now since it is abstract in nature so you have to compulsorily override it inside the class that implements this interface. And now this was all about the properties inside the interface, abstract methods and also the normal methods. And now suppose I have a class of Indian let's say let's remove it here and let us modify the code let's say class of button. Now suppose if I want to implement this interface for this button so what I will do is I will simply use class button colon then simply use my interface listener. Now this is actually the interface. Suppose you want to inherit some class let's say person then for that you need to use this syntax person followed by the primary constructor right as we did in the previous videos. But if you want to implement the interface then you just have to specify colon followed by interface name. There is no primary constructor here. Just because the interface cannot be instantiated. So here I have simply written the comment line you cannot create the instance of the abstract class. Let's make it interface. 
So the interface similar to the abstract class cannot be instantiated. What I'm talking about is inside the main method, you simply cannot define where let's say my object equal to my interface listener. You cannot do it because my interface listener cannot contain a constructor as well. It is just an interface, not a class. So always remember this similar to abstract classes, the interface cannot be instantiated. Let us remove it. And now here, let us remove the person as well. So this is the syntax to get all the properties of this my interface listener inside the class of button. And now let's call it my button as of now, just to avoid any confusion. And now here it shows some error that if you are using the interface here, then you must override this abstract method that is on touch and also this abstract variable name. And now here this abstract abstract keyword is redundant. So again, methods in interface are abstract by default. So to rectify this error, we need to override this variable name and also function on touch because they are abstract in nature. So I will simply override, let's say override var name of the type of string and simply assign it a default value, let's say dummy name. It is totally up to your choice. And now let us override this abstract method as well function on touch. So here I will simply use override keyword space function, let's say on touch. So here the IntelliJ IDE simply creates a placeholder to do for us, where I will simply define our own code, right? Like this. Now coming to this point function on click. Now this function on click is not abstract in nature because it has a method body. So it is actually behaving like a normal method. So if you want, it is totally up to your choice. Either you override that method or not. If you want, you can also override it. It is totally up to your choice, right? And if you want, you can also call the super implementation of this method, like super dot on click method. So as of now, I don't want it. So let us remove it. You may or may not override this method, right? Because this is a normal method. Now inside, the main method, what I'm going to do is I will simply create the instance of this class of my button because this my button is actually of the type of class. So we can instantiate it where let's say, and after this, I will simply call my button dot let's say on touch, right? So this will simply trigger this method present here on touch. And also I will call my button dot let's say on click. And this will simply trigger this method present here, this on click. Now let us define our code here. Let's say print line button was touched and here print line as well. Button was right. And now suppose if I run the code right now, then these two statements is simply going to print button was touched and also button was clicked in the output console. So here in the output, we get button was clicked button was touched and clicked like this. And now suppose inside the on click method, suppose I have some print statement. So let's say print line on click interface codes, right? Like this. So this is the print line statement inside the on click method. Now suppose I want to print this statement as well. So for that, what I will do is inside the on click method, method inside the my button class, what I will do is I will simply use the super keyword super dot. I will simply call on click method. So this will simply trigger the super class method. That is this one. Now remember, this is not the class, right? But still we are inheriting all the properties of my interface listener inside my button class. So let us now run the code. So in the output, we get button was touched. Then on click interface code button clicked was called and then button was clicked. So this is how we call the super class method, right? Like we have done here super dot on click. Now, if you want, you can also remove this on click code here. It will show no error, right? But if you remove this on touch method, then the compiler is not happy because this on touch method is actually abstract in nature. So you need to override it anyhow here inside the derived class. And now suppose I have one more interface. So let us copy this interface, my second interface, 
listener or let's let's trim down the name my second interface right and now inside both the interface let us modify our code so here i will simply remove variable name and also here name and now i will simply convert this function on touch into the normal method so i will simply define the body as let's say print line on touch was called from my second interface on touch was called from my second interface now similarly here i will so here i have simply modified my code inside my interface listener i am having on touch abstract method without any body now same method i am having in inside my second interface but it is now behaving as a normal method it is no longer a abstract method now this on click method and this on click method appears to be same right so suppose i want to implement both the listener inside my button class so what i will do is this is our first listener and then i will simply give a comma and then implement my second interface like this right and here let us remove the statement and now let us remove the code as well here and now here it shows some error that you need to implement the abstract method so simply press alt enter implement the members and it will show you two options my kotlin my interface listener my second interface we need to override this on touch method which is actually abstract in nature so as per our expectation the error should have been gone but here if you notice the error is not gone but but as per the rule we have simply overridden this abstract method now rest of the methods are actually normal methods that should be optional to override such as on click method and also on touch method of the second interface but here we are using two interface now these two interface have two methods on touch and on click and in one of the case we have on touch method as abstract so we need to override this on touch method compulsorily inside my button class but what about on click method this is normal method here and this is again the normal method now as per the rule if there are two interface and there are two normal methods of the same name inside both the interface then you need to override that method as well so here i have to simply press alt enter and simply inherit the on click method here like this so this rectifies our error right now suppose i create the instance of my button like this and call my button dot on touch and my button dot on click right now if i simply going to call this button dot on touch method then it will simply going to trigger this method down the side inside my button class and if i want to trigger the super class method then i then i will simply use super dot on touch right so this statement will simply trigger the on touch method here because this is a normal method and this is the abstract method without any body so there is no point of this method being called because this method don't have any code and here i have some code right so this statement will simply trigger the super class on touch method of my second interface that has some body and now suppose this statement is executed my button dot on click so this will simply trigger this local method of on click present inside my button class so here if i call let's say super dot on click so what will happen it will simply show some error because the compiler will be confused that super dot on click method is actually present in both the case that is in this interface and also inside this interface so it gets simply confused which method to call right so in that case we have a solution here we can simply define super and simply pass the name of the interface super my interface listener dot on click and again if you want to call this my second interface on click method then you can simply call super simply pass the name of my second interface dot on click right so these two statements are simply going to trigger the respective on click methods present inside their interface here and here like this so always remember this while you are using the two interface and if both the interface contains the same method name so how to handle that situation i just showed you in this example so this was all about the practical example now let us jump back to the theoretical example
So the interface can contain both normal methods and also abstract methods. So always remember this. It can contain normal as well as abstract methods. But in case of property, they can contain only abstract property. That is, you cannot initialize any variable inside the interface. Now proceeding forward, the interface are not a class. So do remember this. And now similar to the abstract class, you cannot create the instance of the interface because the interface is not a class. It is something different thing that only provides a short term service such as a button click on touch when you check the checkbox, when you try to open the dialog box and something like that. So it simply provides a short term service, right? The interface. So this was all about the interface in case of Kotlin.